Hi everybody, Gary Schwartz here, also known as Bravo Fox, talking to you about Zoobly Zoo. Uh, Bob Liptak has curated a wonderful channel, and uh, I wanted to, and he asked me if I would um, talk about uh, a couple of memories from some of my favorite episodes. Uh, I have two episodes that sort of stand out. All of, many of them were so wonderful, but of course, uh, Bravo's Puppets was uh, an episode that I wrote for the show, and um, Dennis Rosenblatt was kind enough to direct it, and um, my friend Caleb Chung and I uh, made the uh, puppets for the puppet show. Um, the only puppet we didn't make was, uh, uh, was at Kangaroos, because she was our live accompanist, so uh, she accompanied our puppet show in that episode. But we made uh, the other puppets, and uh, had a wonderful time doing that kind of arts and crafts, uh, and uh, that was a fun that was a fun episode to uh, see done. That was great to see your name under the title as a, as the writer. Another one of my favorite episodes is Bravo Comes Home, which is uh, the episode where uh, nobody listens to Bravo, and um, so he decides to show them what a good guy he was by impersonating his uh, harsher German brother cousin named Otto von Fox. And the fun of it was to the fact that I was doing the voice of Ed Wynn. So then to do the voice of Ed Wynn as a German doppelganger, so to speak. And so then that was a lot of fun. And I remember the episode very fondly. And one of the only times I got to sing Bravo's theme song. So uh, anyway, that's what I remember. Uh, I get a lot of comments from uh, grown people now who said uh, very fondly that uh, Zoobly Zoo was part of their childhood, and that makes me feel very good. So enjoy the channel, and thanks a lot, Bob Liptak. waiting for is Bravo the Fox. Just watch me in a drama, getting everything I've got. I'm a master of pretending I'm someone I am not. And when they drop the curtain and the evening is complete, I'll take my final bow and you'll be on your feet, yelling Bravo, big Bravo's for Bravo the Fox. 